my name is Amy Bermudez and I currently live in El Paso, Texas and I'm a teacher. I teach seventh grade English. Andrew Bailey. I'm a government contractor, prior Marine, and I live in Alexandria, Virginia. My name is April Herlevy. I'm from Lake Nebagam in Wisconsin. Um, and right now I'm a PhD student working on my dissertation. My name is Dan Robinson. I live in Harbor Springs, Michigan. And currently I am working with military entities throughout the country as far as with Gold Star and Blue Star families. Well, about this time last year, uh, my husband went out on a mission. So I think he ended up calling me um, and the first thing he said was, everybody's okay. And he was in the lead vehicle, and their vehicle hit an IED, and it went airborne, and then crashed kind of face down. There wasn't a scratch on them. They're, they were perfectly safe. But then to know, like, the next day he's got to get back out there and do it all over again. Kind of as the, the war in Afghanistan was winding down, one night we went into a village, and then uh, when, when we were leaving, it was the only route out. We, we tried to take it slow, but it's 2.30 in the morning, and unfortunately, uh, we hit the IED. So four of the five of us kind of got knocked out unconscious and came to, and, and the Marines were pulling us out. And But I mean, it, it was giant IED. So I mean, any, any other vehicle, it would definitely would not be here, so. When he was in Iraq, um, and a lot of our other friends, we've had a lot of friends that have have been in combat and those are definitely a big improvement on the trucks that existed beforehand that we have friends that were in some of those other vehicles that were not as capable as the trucks they have now. My relationship to the military is that I have three sons that are actively serving while my oldest has been killed which puts me in a gold star status. I still have two boys that are, are deployed in the Middle East. My middle son um, was basically in a deployment in the Middle East and we get an email from my daughter-in-law that says he's been medevaced out, we think he's okay. And two days later I get a, a message from him on email, very casually, that says, hey, I'm back to work, I'm good to go. So for me that was very devastating because it took me back to the time when my oldest was killed and there was a real fear, a real anxiety. So when I met him, he told me, about what had happened and he showed me a clip of it and there was a one of the vehicles was blown up and he said dad that was me and I said son I don't see this so as I walked out and I turned around rather than saying I'm sorry or dad I'm okay or I love you he said Oshkosh saved my life I immediately called Oshkosh and I said I want to tell you thank you for what you've done for my family and for the rest of these families. What it's worth, I want to say that I'm thankful that um, the people here, that you guys are so passionate. Each person that I met today, I could just see like their individual job, that they really love it and care about it. And that passion really translates because that's what kept my husband safe, that if it wouldn't have been a quality vehicle, if he wouldn't have been in the vehicle, it wouldn't be the same story. Because when it happened, he had months more to go. So knowing that I could kind of put my faith in that, that he, if something were to happen again, he would be okay. No, I know I'm appreciative of the, the people here in Oshkosh that are working hard for this. Because I think people sometimes forget that our military is still out there even now, even though some of the wars have been winding down. Uh, we've got a lot of Marines and soldiers and military members out there still still working hard who need this stuff. So we definitely appreciate that. I can tell you have so much vested and it's really comforting to know that there's a company like yours that really watches out for these these guys. I mean, it's like a family and we're really appreciative. And I thank you all so much for saving my son's life. Oh. <laughs> because I'm not a gold star father again. That's a story that's pretty profound. My grandson would not have been here had it had not been for Oshkosh. Because shortly after this all happened, um, he was conceived and now he's born. And I never thought about calling him Oshkosh. We could have done that. <clears throat> no, I'm not sure that would go. <laughs>
My name is Richard Raines, and I'm calling from Jackson, Georgia. I just wanted to call and just send my deepest gratitude to you and your company for building that MATV. My son was in a firefight in, a, in the Helmand province in Afghanistan on Monday, and that vehicle saved my son's life. And I just wanted to call and thank you all.